In somewhat shocking news, Derek Hudnall of the Bassmaster Elites is retiring. All right, guys, Derek Hudnall here, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro, and now former Bassmaster Elite Series Pro. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. I really do appreciate it. Now, if you're unaware of Derek, Derek is a nine-year veteran of tournament fishing. Five and a half years he's been with the elites. He's actually retiring mid-season, which is something you don't see often. He did a video just in the last 24 hours talking about all of the problems that he's had financially because he's become an elite angler, something that's been his dream for years. I'm here to tell everybody that I am retiring. This is a very expensive endeavor. And some of the things that he said resonated with me, not as a tournament pro, because I'm not, but as someone who is always financially looking at things from outside the box. And he mentioned several times that because it's pay to play, it's a really tough business to be in. He even mentions that he swam in mediocrity during his these five years of being on the leads. And when you dive deep into his stats, Derek actually had a fairly successful tournament run in those five and a half years. And in his video, he's very honest and upfront and talks about how this was a dream of his. It was just a dream that is really tough to do because you have to be financially prepared. You need to have your the people behind you realize all the things that they're gonna have to give up for your dream. And again, he really wasn't the worst of the worst. When I went back and looked at his tournament winnings and his tournament stuff, in 2024, as of right now, he was 55th in Angler of the Year points. 2023, he finished 63rd. 2022, he finished 79th, which is probably his worst year. 2021, he finished 51st. In 2020 and in 2019, he finished 48th. And Derek cashed 41 out of 51 times in the leads. He had $337,000 of winnings during that time from 2019 to 2024. He fished in 76 tournaments in the Leets and the Bass Opens and had one classic appearance. And Derek had some up and ups and downs. The biggest down was he was disqualified in Lake Hartwell, something that he policed himself. And in that Lake Hartwell tournament, Derek actually fished the off limits and had his day wrong. And like I said, he policed himself. But what Derek did was then he still went to that Hartwell tournament, still supported the anglers that were there on his own dime, was the marshal or media boat for that event for people too. And that shows the honesty and integrity of this man. And while he might not be the biggest name of all of the people that are out there fishing, this is someone that this industry kind of needs. And it's scary to think that with the amount of money he made, that he still that this still couldn't work for him because sponsorship money or all the other things. And he even says it in his video several times. He didn't build his brand up enough. And I think when I start looking at new anglers or I've talked to angler people that are anglers that want to do this, I constantly have told them over the years, you have to build that brand for yourself. You have to have an online presence. You have to have a social media presence. And you have to still go out there and fish and compete. And while there are a lot of anglers that don't do all of the little things that need to happen right now, now, there are a lot of anglers that do and if you're a new angler and you're trying or you have that dream to become an elite angler or a major league fishing angler or a BPT you need to remember that you need to put a lot of emphasis on being yourself and promoting yourself and building the brand of you as narcissistic as it sounds and it has to be it almost has to be about you and the team behind you needs to be as good if not better Kevin Van Dam would say it. Without Sherry behind him, he might not be as successful as he is. Now, KVD is also the greatest angler of all time, but his team behind him is just as good. Sherry and the boys and the team that are around him made him who he is. They made the name and the brand of KVD. And the KVD brand is actually bigger and better than the angler. As crazy as that might sound, that KVD brand is amazing. It's one of the few brands that sells lures and tackle and everything else. And there are few, very few anglers, and I don't mean to throw shade on any of them. There are very few anglers that if you, they tell you to go buy a product, that you guys go buy it. These days, social media and YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and all those things 
are extremely important. And Derek admits, while this is a crazy thing to do mid-season, financially it just isn't, doesn't work for him. And he has a family that he has to support. And I give it up for Derek for all the things he's done in his career, because I think this is a, this is a true man. And he isn't going out firing shots. He's admitting that he did some things wrong and he needs to do other things to make his life better. And you can't give him enough credit for doing that. As tough as, as it is to not live the dream you want, this is something that we should admire and show, and it shows his integrity and not his honesty. And it shows the type of man that he is. And while he might not be the biggest name out there, this is someone, this is a big loss for the industry because Derek is a good dude. Unfortunately, I've never met him and I wish I would, but my hat is off to him for doing the right thing, having a great career and going out the way some anglers should. Um, if I can ever do anything for any of you guys, please don't hesitate to reach out, but thank you guys. I love y'all. Um, you have made a quarter of my life absolutely 100% perfect. Thank you. I love you guys. Tight lines. And we'll see you guys soon. And I feel bad that he has to do it because we need more people like Derek in the industry. So go check out his video, his retirement video on his YouTube channel, Derek Hudnell Fishing, I think it is. But I'll put a link in the description just to be safe because heaven forbid I should be wrong. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.